He was a jokester, thus the nickname, and the feds say a ruthless killer, mob boss Joey the Clown Lombardo. Who was Joe the Clown Lombardo? Boss of the Chicago outfit. Lombardo was born on January 1, 1929 in Chicago, one of 11 children to Italian immigrants from Bari. Lombardo, from a large family of nearly a dozen children, became feared Grand Avenue staple on Chicago West Side for decades. He was known to the public as Joey the Clown for his court room antics. It included placing a newspaper over his face with the eye hole cut out and a hole on his lit cigarette. He also enjoyed displaying a psychotic look during mock shots and once his attorney tried to smuggle helping Sopressata into federal court. But he didn't ascend to upper crust of the Chicago mob by telling jokes and doing pratfalls. He became the head of the Chicago mob by supervising casino skimming, rigging labor contracts, making juice loans at 100% interest, breaking legs at the necessary shooting, blowing up or simply garroting on cooperative customers and underlings. In organized crime circles, Lombard was more apt to be caught lumpy for his administration of beatings that would result in impetuous lumps. On recipient, he also used the aliases Joe Padula and Joe Cunillo during the criminal escapades that spent more than seven decades. Lombardo Islet's career was rooted in the 1950s when he found work as a thug for West Side gangsters at the time. The Chicago outfit was drifting at the large cast of characters dominate the organized crime would fusing on prostitution, gambling, loan sharking, jewel heist, label racketeering and the various violent methods of controlling those who executed orders for street queues. Lombardo's accession to the top rank of the Chicago mob was conferred by a 1978 photograph that has become known as the Last Supper picture. It shows Lombardo dining with the highest rank hoodlums in the city, including the late godfather Tony Accardo. With Lombardo's death, every one of the mobsters pictures and now gone is proof of how the world organized crime in Chicago has changed. Disanimated by death, incarceration and continued federal security. In the early 1980s, during a mob trial in Kansas City, Lombardo was handed a 15-year sentence for conspiracy to bribe as the U.S. Senator and a 10-year sentence for skimming $2 million in cash from a mopped-up casino Las Vegas. When his term was up, somehow Lombardo's finagled a midnight release from Pennsylvania prison. He and his brother held a motel pizza party after the prison departure and they drove back to Chicago, managing to evade team camera crew that was staked out in the same motel. Once Lombardo arrived at home at Chicago West Side, he sprinted into his home, this time in the view of ABC7 camera, still living up on his clown nickname. Lombardo once took out a newspaper at stating that he was no longer affiliated with Chicago organized crime claimed that law enforcement and mobilistic never believed. Lombardo take a lenity of mob secrets to his grave. He never admitted anything, never showed any remorse for a life of crime to his last breath, full of it to the outfit plot out of silence known as Omerta. In September 2006, while in federal lockup at the Metal Politician Correctional Center in Chicago, Lombardo had a heart attack and was brought in the Northwestern Memorial Hospital, where he was diagnosed as having a minor heart attack. He was put into an operation room where he underwent a surgery to have stent insulin. His fourth cent procedure, it was also reported he suffered from throat cancer, that his gallbladder had been removed. He served his sentence at the ADX Florence Supermax prison, where he died on October 19, 2019, at the age of 90.